Childs is responding to a demand. He does not invent it. He's responding to a demand, and the demand is the demand which is created by the forces for the demand for information created by the war, the demand for information created by a new mass industrial economy. So that even though some newspapers have previous histories, like the New York Times, they will reinvent themselves in the decades after the Civil War to become an entirely different kind of newspaper, a broad-based, nonpartisan newspaper dedicated to printing all kinds of news, to informing a middle class that wants not just partisan political opinion, but wants broad-based forms of news to be kept up to date about happenings in the world. Childs, whether he realizes this in every exact detail or not, is able with the public ledger to invent a Philadelphia version of this in the public ledger, which will endure for a long, well into the 20th century, as, as a major flagship newspaper in Philadelphia, precisely because it's able to combine all of these aspects that readership wants in the post-Civil War decades.